When presented with the task of finding the limit as x approaches 3 from the left of 3x minus 15 over 3x squared minus 27, like all one-sided limits of rational functions, the first step is to directly substitute the value where you're taking the limit at, which in this case is 3, into the expression. In this case, I find that 3 times 3 minus 15, the numerator, is equal to 9 minus 15, or negative 6, and the denominator is equal to 3 times 3 squared, 27, minus 27, which is 0. This result, negative 6 over 0, is the form of a non-zero value over 0, a non-zero number over 0, and that implies that at x equals 3, the graph would have a vertical asymptote. So the limit as x approaches 3 from the left does not exist, but it could be described as infinity or negative infinity, because as the graph approaches this asymptote from the left, it will rise without bound or fall without bound. Knowing that that is the case, what I can do is let x equal a number that's very close to 3, but just barely to the left of it, like 2.99. 2.99 is a hundredth smaller than x equals 3 from the left. If I let x equal 2.99, and evaluate in the original expression 3x, 3 times 2.99 minus 15, over 3 times x, 2.99 squared minus 27, what I find is that at that value of x, the function is at 33.55. And this implies that the graph is probably going up. The graph is probably going up as it gets closer to x equals 3. But to be sure of that, let's see what the graph is doing as it gets even closer to 3. Let's let x equal 2.999. When x equals 2.999, and you substitute that value for x in the original expression, this is a thousandth away from the value of x equals 3. And this time, the result is 333.55. This implies as it's getting closer to 3, the value of y is getting bigger and bigger. As x gets closer to 3, the, the associated value of f of x is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. There is a vertical asymptote at x equals 3, and as this function gets closer and closer to 3, it's increasing without bound. I could evaluate the expression when x equals 2.9999, but I would find that the graph is continuing to rise. So the limit as x approaches 3 from the left of 3x minus 15 over 3x squared minus 27 can be described as positive infinity. Positive infinity. Note that the limit as x approaches 3 from the left does not exist. The limit is not approaching an actual value, but it can be described as infinity. If you have access to a graphing utility, this result can be verified. Let's look at the graph of 3x minus 15 over 3x squared minus 27 to make sure that our answer of infinity is correct. Here we see the graph of f of x equals 3x minus 15 over 3x squared minus 27. The problem that we just solved was for this function, the limit as x approaches 3 from the left. And if we take a look at this graph, at x equals 3, as we determined there is, does appear to be a vertical asymptote at x equals 3, and from the left, from the left, as this graph gets closer and closer to x equals 3, it's rising without bound. It's rising without bound. This will continue to increase as it gets closer and closer to x equals 3. The limit as x approaches 3 from the left does equal infinity.